if one made the hole higher, then this uh, the, the tree uh, thumb thumb wheezes uh, away from the end of the garment. Even if uh, when the tzitzis is tied to into the corner, he puts the knot tie. One second, one second, something is missing. He, uh, he, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. So one, one more time, let me start from the beginning. So I misread one word. If one, um, if one made the hole higher than three thumb breaths, which is uh, okay, that's what he did, um, away from the end of the garment, even when the tits is, is tight onto the corner, so everything is tight, right? So I mean, he heavily tied, it's not like he just uh, inserted. He pulled the nut are uh, tight and uh, and uh, wrinkles up the area of the talus garment so that the hole reaches the uh, reaches within three thumb breaths of uh, of the end that is when the measuring just space from the hole until the end of the wrinkle garment as one would uh, when he put a ruler next to it okay the tits are still valid so let's understand uh, let's try to explain this part right so basically he he made the hole a little higher and now so so the kids are proposed the solution so now if, if he tied this uh, uh this tits a little tighter so he's going to wrinkle the the talus itself so it, it's going to be like semi-folded but by this uh, semi-folding uh, talus it uh, it uh, uh, the distance becomes less than uh, three thumb breaths which is uh, which is no problem so even though like technically there is more more space if you if you uh, stretch it out if even out but but you cannot but you cannot even out why because uh, there is a like uh, this it's, it's tight make sense or no understand I understand. I understand. Thank yeah. You. So, so basically, it's a solution. So for us, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, on 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 one hand, it does not apply to us because we go to the uh, to the store, but uh, and just buy whatever, like uh, with a perfect measurement and stuff like that. But uh, on on one hand, on other hand, you you never know in what situation you can uh, you can be. So, for example, uh, some time ago, somebody showed me how to. To tie the tits and he, they gave me the, the string and stuff like that. So it was was, was a very interesting. I tie my own tits. Of course, I don't remember how to do it, but uh, basically, it's not uh, it's not rocket science. Basically, you can uh, redo it yourself if needed. Just buy the string and that's it. Okay, so continue. Uh, the measurement of the three tie and uh, basically it's uh, just just another thing. So basically, a person can can make his own talus. Right, so I mean, uh, it's uh, it's a four corner corner garment. You you make uh, the the hole for uh, for the for, for your head, right? And uh, that's it. You just have to buy tzitzis, right? The, the the string, and you can tie tie it yourself if you know how. You can watch the video and learn how to do that. So it's it's not that far fetched this this explanation, right? So you can do it yourself. Continue. The measurement of three time breaths is of the length of the surface area of the garment itself. Okay. If after the tzitzit string were hung in a hole that was above the maximum amount of, uh, of the distance from the end of the garment, there is above the three thumb breasts, okay, one, make, uh, one, one made a cut in the end of the garment in order that the tzitzit uh, now Tongues hangs now now hangs on the lowest part of the opening, okay, which is within the three thumb uh, thumb breasts of the end of the garment. It is still valid even though the tzitzis tassel is now within the three thumb breasts of the end, because of the rule of you shall make the tzitzis properly from the start. Invalid, so it's still invalid, okay. And not repair that which uh, was already made improperly, as explained below in CF6. So let's uh, 
we're going to reread uh, this uh, this piece, this commentary. But uh, just uh, before we do that, just uh, uh, let's understand the situation. The situation is that he does not want to to tie the tighter, or or it's no no, it's not that he wants or does not. It's after the event. So now he he tied it nicely. This uh, scissors to the garment, and now he measured. And he sees that it's more than these three hand brasses. So meaning that uh, it's not in a corner. So uh, Kitzer said it's not it's not going to work if he thinks that he's going to like cut, make a cut and um, in in a garment itself, and uh, should try to pull the stitches down, like like basically may make a second hole under under the first hole, right? So it's not going to work. Why? Because there is a principle that you have to do all the mitzvah uh, right in the beginning. So you you cannot fix it. So the, the, the proper way, the way I understand, would be to untie the tzitzes. Okay, the, the, the second hole uh, uh, positioned uh, in the right place, but you have to untie the tzitzes and then tie it again and basically fix the problem. But just to pull them down uh, the, in the way they are, it's not going to fix the problem. Because basically what happened, you tied it in the one place and now they're again going to hang in another place. Which is uh, not correct. Okay. I hope uh, I explained it clearly. Okay, if not, let me know, please. <clears throat> if after the tzitz string were hung, number 27, comment in, there is the strings were hung uh, onto the corner, onto the corner, one, uh, one wrapping, uh, even if it is not uh, for no, uh, the strings were hung onto the corner, one wrapping, even if it is uh, one of only three revol um, revolution was made. Right, so meaning that the, the, he did not finish uh, time completely. Right, it's only one. Right, one revolution, and it was tied with a double knot. So basically, like te technically, after one double knot, that's it. Right? That's uh, that's uh, halakhically that's enough. When when you say tie, when uh, when somebody make a single knot, it's not tying. Right? When somebody make the double knot, so it's actually tying. Okay. Okay. So that's what it says. One second. So, so basically, he did not finish. He just did uh, the first double knot. Okay. So it says see details in CF5. Before the before the stage of the preparation tzitzis has been reached, the tassels is not considered to be made. Okay. So tzitzis So basically, one knot, single knot, just uh, it's not made. So I mean that uh, he does everything. According to a specification, but it's not to be tight. It's not considered to be tight halakhically. Let's put it this way. Okay, so one more time this sentence. If after the tzitzis uh, string were hung, so it's no 27, in a hole that uh, was done, uh, uh, was above the maximum amount of the distance from the end of the garment, there is above the three thumb breasts, one made a cut in the area of a hole. Right. Such as the opening now reaches the within the three hand bracket. And so he cut uh, like um, the way I understand he would cut uh, diagonally, let's say, right down, closer to to the corner. So the scissors would uh, like slide down and within the three. Uh, so so now it is within within the three uh, thumb braces from the end of the garment, which is uh, correct. <clears throat> in in order for the tzitzis now, uh, in order that the tzitzis now hangs on the lowest part of the opening, which which is uh, he thinks that's the, the the solution, which is within the three thumb braces of the end of the garment, it is still invalid. So I mean measurements are correct, but he did it in the, in the wrong uh, sequence. First you have to make a hole in the right place, and then you tie. In the right place, but not uh, tie in the wrong place and then push it uh, or move it to, to the right place. It's not going to work. So it is still invalid. Even though the tzitzit uh, is not within the three thumb breasts of the end, 
because of the rule of you, you shall make the tzitzes properly from the start and not repair that which was uh, already made improperly. So that's the rule for tzitzes at least. Okay, so many things you, you, you cannot fix, like in mitzvah. So, it, for example, tefillin, you have to write uh, all of these psukim in the right uh, sequence. And, right, and even not, not only, yeah, in the right sequence, basically. Okay. And um, I, I think that, that even the words in tefillin we're going to learn, you have to write in the right, right sequence. So if you made a mistake, you have to, like, scrape it. With, uh, with some kind of scraper with uh, right, uh, and go back and 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 rewrite everything like from from where you, you made mistake the only issue if uh, if you have a name of Hashem in between so now you cannot rewrite so basically it's uh, if you have name of Hashem in in, in between the, the era in in a in between the era and then the place where, where you stop, so basically it's uh, unfixable. They have to bury it, which is a problem. I mean, uh, the, the problem is that the person is going to lose uh, his money and his time. That's, uh, but that's halacha. Okay, so continue. As explained, um, the Torah states in Dvarim 20, uh, 22 12, you shall make yourself twisted strings on four corners of your garment. The word tase, uh, you shall make, is understood to mean that, that the tzitzes must be valid at the time they are made. Okay, so they must be valid at the time they are made. Okay. There is a fixed to the garment. If the time that, uh, if at the time that the tzitzes were tied onto the garment, they were invalid, Meaning they were tied in the wrong place, as we said, um, as in uh, as in our case, where they were tied in the wrong place, okay. And uh, uh, later, the defect was taken away, okay. Meaning that he cut um, the, the, this hole deeper, like uh, co closer to the to the corner. They remain invalid. The scissors must be untied and uh, retied to the garment again in its proper manner. This rule um, and, and, and its application, uh, um, I explain at length in CF number six. Okay, so I mean, uh, we're going to get to, to, to CF number six, but basically, so what, what we can uh, learn from this, uh, the mitzvah must be performed in the proper order. And uh, the only way to fix it, if he tied it too high, is uh, untie it, make uh, make a proper fall in the proper place, and then tie it again. So that there are all there are always solutions. It's not like end of the world. Continue. Also, the hole should not be too close to the edge of the garment, uh, whether in the length or the width, too close means less than the measure uh, that is uh, from the middle of the joint of the thumb until the tip of the thumb thumbnail. So middle of the joint of the thumb until the tip of the thumbnail. Okay, coming to see, see appendix for auditorial growth. So that's, uh, that's the minimum. So we, we got the maximum and that's the minimum. Okay. So it's like, uh, I don't know, what, what is it? Um, uh, maybe one and a half width on of the thumbnail that that's for all of the time width plus minus okay so it's not would be it cannot be too close cannot be too far 